so yes i would say the culture here has impacted my life i've actually got to understand that you don't have to dress naked or half naked to look good or to get recognized by people i have understood that dressing modest actually makes you look perfect it's almost exactly three years since i moved to the uae I'm super excited to share my journey and experience with you since i moved here from adjusting to a new country finding my place and making unforgettable memories trust me the uae has been full of surprises and lessons so whether you're curious about life in uae or considering moving here i can't wait to tell you starting with my first questions what prompted my decision to move here I thought life would be easier compared to the life I had in Lebanon and that was also one of the reasons why I moved here. My first impression here was at the airport. The way the security, like when I got to the airport, I don't know, my passport picture is something that looks really blurry and because of that when I got to the airport they had to do extra security check and right at where I was being checked they handed a family's passport back to them to go back to their country that they cannot come back to the UAE so that really made me like a bit scared and a bit surprised about the UAE but trust me, since that time, everything is normal here. But that was my first impression about UAE. The security, it's very tight. I would say the adaptation process during the first month is okay. But from the second, third, fourth month is where the problem is. Normally during the first month, if you come on visit visa, you still have like that time when we came, there was three three months visa so the first one month you still have two months so there is no much of a pressure and tension but from there let me say the tension starts from two three months going so for the first month it was perfect it was okay and let me say even within the first month and you do not have a job yet you still have the confidence but after the two three four months that is when you feel the heat and also i came in november ending of november so i didn't really experience any heat the heat in uae until around march april may yeah the first month was perfect what has been my favorite experience since i moved here my favorite experience has been thursdays thursday nights and fridays like this is something that i don't think will stop like you know fridays are always off days and thursday night you get to do whatever you want to do you can even go out and come home like 3 a.m because you know the next day you have the whole day to yourself so this has been the best type of experience that i have i have had here in the uae has there really been any particular challenge even in uae yes there's been a lot of challenges like a lot of challenges when i moved here within a long time i didn't have a secured and stable job i was like stable job like secure job that was my challenge the uae you never know you just need to enjoy the moment you never know as the uae impacted my life both personally and professionally yes it has like let me say if you know me since let me say four years ago and you still know me or you get to meet me now you would know that a lot of things have changed in my life even from those of you that are watching my content like from the look of my content like let me say if the content i've been making i have been really active on this channel since the past i think two months two to three months the content i've been making has been different from the content i was making before so even with you watching my channel you can clearly see that there's been really huge change aside that like my personal lifestyle has even changed like i'm not i'm more like open to the outside world and i do not know how to really explain this but moving here has really changed my personal lifestyle even and professionally yes of course let me say when i first moved here for the first one year 
I was only looking for jobs as cleaning but at the moment since I moved here I have been able to uh, do CNA course like nursing assistance course and at the moment I have had about two years experience in sales I think it has really impacted me to know a lot of things that I did not know before and yes I would say it has impacted my life both uh, personally and professionally yes the culture in UAE has influenced my life and my lifestyle normally in my home country in my country ghana as a woman you should when you sleep you should wake up like by six in the morning but over here i wake up at 11 i have to show up at work at 12 p.m so i actually do not sleep early i sleep around let me say um sometimes 2 a.m even as at this time that i'm recording this video it's around 1 46 am and i'm still not sleeping so if i have nowhere to go i actually would have to wake up around 11 to prepare to wear culture here to be honest with you i have a video about this on my channel the lessons i have learned in the uae and this year before i moved here i really used to dress anyhow like in revealing outfits and you know those kind of outfit but i go to realize after i moved here seeing turkish fashion seeing arabic fashion arabic fashion is not all about wearing hijab and a bias like you can still dress arabic and still look good with your whole body covered so yes i would say the culture here has impacted my life i've actually got to understand that you don't have to dress naked or half naked to look good or to get recognized by people. I have understood that dressing modest actually makes you look perfect. Have I experienced local cuisines? Yes, I have, but I'm not really sure which one is Emirati food. Actually, I think all the Arabs have same food and the food i eat here i have actually tested them in lebanon i think the only thing that is new to me and i don't think it's emirati food it's an indian food and you know the indian community here is very large so something that is very new to me is biryani and i think biryani is something that i've come to love so much i don't know maybe because of the price as cheap as, as it is but especially the chicken doom how has the local language played a role in my life honestly the local language has not played any role in my life uae is not one of those countries that if you do not speak arabic it is difficult to move around no uae with english you can move around the uae like anywhere even normally with those of us who are doing sales normally with customers who do not speak english they don't mind of course it is very nice very good and very ethical to be to have like a great conversation like with customer but if you do not speak arabic we is not a country that is so judgmental and it's not about english or it's not about how you speak it's just about being confident about whatever you are trying to say and whatever you are trying to do even the fact that you cannot speak arabic you can just try to tell them what you want to say example as a sales associate when a customer comes to me the customer is probably trying to know the price or either going to buy or is buying so the what i have to tell them is they are going to ask me prices and this kind of simple arabic i can understand so they will ask me prices and i'll tell them the prices if i do not know how to say that in arabic most of these customers even though they can't speak english but they can easily understand when you speak numbers okay so even if they cannot i just type it on the calculator and there you go it is very easy so i would say the local language has not had any impact and had not played any role in my life but this local like customers are very very uh let me say they are too positive 
they are not too i don't know how to explain this but i believe that you tr you guess you 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 get what i'm trying to explain to you they do not really care about whether you speak arabic or not and they will not leave what they are coming to buy because you do not speak arabic they will just try to find a way i always say that locals the locals here are really nice they'll just try to find a way to get what you are trying to say to them and it's, if it's that difficult to explain what you're trying to say to them it's not difficult to just translate on your phone so the local language hasn't really had any impact on my life like in uae no when it comes to work related challenges i have experienced a lot of them i have experienced abusive employers like um harassing employers sexually abusive like that is how i see them with the way they portray like they present themselves and racist colleagues i really do not want to go into details with this these challenges are really going on here in the ua especially the racism aspect what are the opportunities or advantages i got working in the uae I got the advantage to learn a skill that I had no idea on. Like my current employer gave, gave me the chance to learn what I am doing at the moment. They actually gave me the chance and they had patience with me to learn everything and I am really grateful to Have I been able to explore any of the historical or cultural sites in the UAE? I think the only place I have visited at the moment is safari dubai and i was actually working in Sharjah safari as well Sharjah safari is actually about animals and all that but dubai safari is more about adventure these are the only places i have visited i would want to visit global village but i learned the ticket is a bit more expensive inshallah i will visit the place talking about my favorite outdoor activities it should be going to the beach and i would really want to go camping i have no idea i have no idea and my people are not ready to go yeah so my favorite outdoor activity at the moment will be going to the beach i enjoy going to the beach so 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 much especially jumeirah beach and Sharjah ajman beach if you have been able to watch my video till this part and haven't subscribed hey there my name is matilda enoku i go by the name ghana girl and i live here in the uae it is only positive vibes over here so do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel like this video and then share to reach bigger community thank you very much for being here and i believe you'll come back to watch my video i love you all so much